So this is where some of the kind of brighter colours came out. Um, I decided to go in with a very dark blue. Again, I'm not really sure what the exact shade was. It wasn't exactly working going with the paintbrush and I wanted to make sure that the edges were neat and tidy. Um, so this is when the masking tape came into play. But honestly, I only used it this once for this line and that's probably why it was the neatest line in the whole entire deck chair stripes but um, I didn't want to go I didn't want to have to do the waiting time between the things because if I'd done the blue stripes with the masking tape then gone to do the pink ones that I do after this it would have ended up taking off the paint of the blue one underneath because it wouldn't be dry yet and I know I could have just hair dried it or waited um, a bit longer but I was a little bit impatient and I ended up just freehanding the other ones so enjoy this satisfying clip of me peeling off masking tape because it's the only one in the whole entire video. <laughs> So like I said, I went in and started to try and freehand some of the stripes. Um, honestly, this one doesn't look too bad. So I guess this is kind of where I was like, oh yeah, it'd be fine to keep going with this. But this is also when I realised that um, I don't think I drew in enough stripes on the deck chair to fit all the colours in at least twice. Um, I was trying to go for like a very nice even pattern so I needed to have each colour twice and I think I only had enough to do three of the colours twice and one of them once and that was going to look really weird so I had to then try and make my stripes a little bit smaller and I also had to make them look smaller because of the angle of the chair and this is also when I realised the blue stripes were pretty much the same thickness and I had to try and fix that, but because it's quite a dark colour, I definitely had to wait for that to dry. So I just went straight in with the pink. Colours. So I ended up blocking all the colours in. Um, because the edges definitely were not neat, so I decided that I was going to fix that after I'd done one coat. I felt it'd be a lot easier to make it a lot even. So yeah, I definitely fixed that off camera. And then I went straight into painting the beach ball and the sandcastle and the bucket and spade that was in the sand. I didn't record much of me doing that, but that's just a little view of it there. Um, I then went straight into doing the beads on the necklace. I realised that you're not actually going to see a lot of them underneath the flowers. And as you can see, I also fixed up the stripes, like I said, and they look a lot better than they did previously. Um, I wanted to try and choose a colour that I hadn't used on the stripes, so I went with purple for the beads because you're not going to see them um, very much and for all the other things I decided to use colours that were being used in other places so the bucket and the spade are the same colours used on the deck chair, the same as the bag and then the beach ball, the blue and the yellow are the same as the deck chair the red is the only one that doesn't appear on the deck chair but that appears later on when I'm painting this little bag um, I didn't really know what Kind of style to paint it. I was going to do it striped, but then there was too much like the deck chair diagonal, was too much like the beach ball. Um, so I ended up going with this kind of checkered look, um, and it really reminded me of like that kind of 70s, 80s vibe, which ended up kind of being the whole kind of theme slash, I guess, vibe for the, the um, painting. Um, but yeah, no, this is just me going in with like little colours and doing all the different squares and I kept all of this in because it was quite like a satisfying clip, 
because it's just it was very meticulous and neat to do and I enjoyed painting this to be honest So around about this point it started reminding me of that children's book with the elephant where it has loads of patches of colour on it. I don't remember the name but honestly that's kind of what this bag looks like. So if anyone else knows what that is or like they understand what I'm on about please let me know what the name of that book is because I honestly I cannot remember. This is probably the prettiest paint palette I've ever had. So for this next lot of clips that you're going to see, they're very, very short because my phone started running out of storage and I wasn't able to kind of capture them in full. So what I do have, I am going to be showing you. This is me just kind of going in with some base colors to paint the deck chair. I really did want to make it look realistic so I tried to add like shading and I was trying to like add all these different tonal variations and stuff but honestly I just sort of accepted it that it wasn't going to look like that because of just the style that everything else was leaning towards it was not going to go the kind of realistic route so I kind of settled with kind of more blocky shading and things like that and I just went over to make a nice kind of flat colour um, I then decided to outline everything and then decided to go the kind of full ham with that and just add cross hatching and like details in black and this is kind of where the kind of piece went from being kind of unrealistic to being kind of very illustrative in my opinion. Um, I just added black to everything and I got slightly carried away but honestly it was like 2am at this point and I was just going for it. So like I said, the style definitely shifted from me attempting something realistic to being something very unrealistic and illustrative and it also went down the route of the kind of 70s slash 80s vibe and this is where the cats really would not have fitted in if I had tried to do them realistically like I did the dog in my previous video. So this is where this kind of ended up happening. Um, I went in with like the base colours of him and then I just went ham with the black. So I was trying to follow the same kind of style so I just went in with kind of the base colours first and tried to make them blend nicely but um, it kind of looks a bit muddy so I added purple because it was going to be a girl cat but then that didn't end up really happening and this is what I was ended up left with but honestly I really like 